Opinion, Reach, and Don't Stop Reaching, a millennial guide to dealing with tragedy by Justin Husson. In today's world, we are seemingly dealing with an unwavering amount of global tragedy. From weather catastrophes, deadly plagues, and corrupt leaders, it seems our world is full of gloom and doom. But historically, our planet has always been dealing with catastrophic events, and each generation has dealt with those tragedies in different ways. Before the Industrial Revolution, mythology and faith were the driving forces that helped the people of the world process and digest what was going on around them. But we live in an age of mechanics and science, where faith and myth does not always do the trick. So, how have recent generations coped with the stress of life? Baby boomers use traditional vacations as their mechanisms for stress, Patio lounging, fishing, and cottaging are a lot more common for this generation. Gen Xers took on the party lifestyle to cope. Vices became much more commonplace in general society than in previous generations as a way to cope with stress. And then there's Millennials. Millennials are the nostalgic generation, often turning to media from their childhood and were supporting revivals and comeback tours. But why is this? Nostalgia has always existed in people who yearn for the carefree days of their childhood, but when and how did an entire generation fall back on this state of mind to help them deal with the harsh realities of our world? Millennials, or the first digital natives, grew up in a different world than other generations. With the advancements of the internet and in turn social media, this generation was the first to see the world live right from their fingertips. This access came with many advantages, but also came with some consequences. What to do when you're a 16-year-old kid and you can pull up footage of bombs going off in hospitals filled with bodies, all on your lunch break from English class? Millennials are not just the only generation who watched the current regime of social media come to be, but helped it come to be. They were the first generation to witness tragic events live, sometimes even at school. So, it only makes sense that when faced with adversity and trauma, these same people would use this technology to take them back to an older time, and it's never been easier to do. One search on YouTube and you're listening to your favorite Britney, Christina, or Beyonce song, or jamming out to Jimmy Eat World or No Doubt, or rapping alongside Dr. Dre and Jay-Z, or remembering your dance moves while turning into one of the many boy bands of the time. And because millennials help set up this system, they know how to use it well and do so every chance they get, making them the most nostalgic generation on the planet. But this is no accident. Cognitive therapy is quite common as a tool for stress and used in a variety of ways. The use of nostalgia to do this is not new at all, but never been more common among an entire generation. As kids, millennials were told to reach for the stars and never give up. Told they could do anything they wanted and given a sense of accomplishment like no other generation before them. Now, they are using the same elements to help them survive through a world that is seemingly always in peril what could only be described as a natural evolution of their inspirational millennial culture. How do you cope with stress? For more information on stress and mental health, please visit the following links. Please subscribe for more information 